Hello everyone, I'm Julian at 3D Chimera and today I will be showing you how to apply 3D textures using SolidWorks 2020 like the ones we have printed here. You can open up SolidWorks 2020 and here I've got a keychain that has no texture applied to it. Now I could sit through the, the tedious effort of trying to model everything by hand um, but maybe getting clever with a linear pattern but there's an easy trick here with the new 2020 release uh, that involves 2D textures and mesh generation. Here I'm going to apply a texture to the face that I want the texture on. And I'm going to do that using the SolidWorks appearance library. I'm going to apply that to this face. I'm going to scroll down to the miscellaneous tab in the library and then there's a bunch of pre-made 3D textures here um, called 3D Texture. So you can see that there's a uh, ton of interesting options here. I'm going to scroll down and find one. Uh, let's say Diamond Tread. We want to put a Diamond Tread texture here on the back face. So I'm going to click on that and you can see that it's going to apply a 2D texture in black and white to that face that I had selected. Now with this I can move it around. I can pan that. I can also scale that. I'm going to find a scale that looks pretty nice and I think might get pretty grippy and that looks good. So I'm going to accept changes and now you can see that it uh, added a 2D texture to my model. Now in order to turn this into a 3D model it's going to take the white sections, raise them up and then the black sections are as is. So it's going to generate a mesh and create all of these triangles to create my 3D texture. So in order to do that, I'm going to navigate to the Solid Bodies folder and it's going to find the 3D texture on the body that I have. Here I've only got one body, um, but this would be the body that has the texture you had just applied. So you can see that SolidWorks has detected there's a texture setting here. You can see that this is the diamond trade bump that I had selected before in the library and I'm going to apply that. Now you can see not much has been happening here, so uh, we can uh, fine-tune some settings. First, I know that this section here is one millimeter deep, and I'm going to make my texture flush with that surface. So I'm going to make that one millimeter deep. Now texture refinement has different, it adds more triangles to your part. You can see that SolidWorks has turned my 3D model from a solid body into a mesh body. So it does this to apply our 3D texture. Now because it turns into a mesh body, this should be the last feature in your tree. Applying a texture should be your last step. So you can see not much is happening here and I can increase the level of refinement, uh, basically break down the triangles into more triangles to better resolve these features. So I'm going to have a texture refinement of 50%. So you see that adds a little bit more uh, resolution there. And then the last feature I'm going to change is maximum element size. I'm going to make this a quarter of a millimeter, which is about the smallest that we can print on our SLS 3D printer machines. So I'm going to apply that. Now it does take a little bit of time because the meshes get heavier the more triangles you add, right? So you can see it adds a nice diamond tread plate pattern here. Now I could sit here all day and refine these textures. I can go up to a thousand percent texture refinement. Uh, but this looks pretty good and I think would be resolved very nicely in our printer. Uh, so you can see that the, in the texture it raised the white sections up and kept the black sections low. Uh, if you want to reverse this then you can uncheck that box and it's going to raise the black sections up and lower the white sections. So you can see that instead of raised diamond patterns, it's going to be inset diamond patterns. I'm going to revert that back. That's what I wanted. It's a positive feature here in a diamond tread plate. And then I'm going to accept our changes and you can see that it changed to a mesh body, which then very easily converts to an STL file which we can print. Right, this has been Julian at 3D Chimera showing you 3D textures with SOLIDWORKS.
Thank you for watching.